Hello my friends. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 on an old PC using a simple and free tool called Rufus. This application offers convenient features that allow the setup program to automatically bypass hardware compatibility checks during the Windows installation process. I recorded this tutorial on a 15-year-old computer, and before starting the installation, I used a dedicated tool to check whether my PC was compatible with Windows 11. As you'll see in the video, thanks to Rufus, the entire installation process went smoothly despite the system's age. You will find a link to the application for checking compatibility in the description of the video. Important. During the installation, all data on drive C will be erased, make sure to back up your important files and save them to another drive in advance. If you follow my instructions carefully, your Microsoft license will remain valid, and Windows 11 will activate automatically. Connect a USB flash drive with at least 8GB of space to your PC or laptop. I'm using a 60 gigabytes flash drive, which is more than enough. Open your browser and search for download Windows 11. Or open the description of my video, and click the link to the Windows 11 download page. On the Microsoft website, you'll find detailed information about Windows 11. To download the ISO file, click the appropriate link, this will start the Media Creation Tool download. Open File Explorer. Go to the Downloads folder. And double-click the app icon. Agree to the license terms. On the next screen, you can uncheck the box to select a different language for the Windows 11 interface. I'm keeping English. Next. Then, choose to download the ISO file instead of creating a bootable USB drive. Select a location to save the ISO, I'm choosing the desktop. Click, Save. The ISO file download will begin, once it's finished, we'll continue with the tutorial. OK. The ISO file has been downloaded to the computer, click Finish. Now, let's download Rufus. Open your browser, and type Download Rufus in the search bar. Or open the description of my video, and click the link to the Rufus download page. Scroll down the page, and click Rufus 4.7. Once the file is downloaded, close the browser. Open the Downloads folder. Double-click the Rufus file to launch it. Rufus is now open. At the top, you'll see your USB flash drive has been detected, and we're going to turn it into a Windows 11 installer. Click the Select button, and find your ISO file. In my case, it's on the desktop. Click Open. Leave the default settings. Now, choose the correct partition scheme, MBR or GPT. To find out which one your system uses, open Disk Management. Right-click on Drive C, and select, Properties. Go to the Volumes tab. Here you'll see if it's MBR or GPT. Mine is MBR, so I'll select MBR in Rufus. If you're not sure, watch my other video, the link is in the description. Leave all other options as they are, and click Start. A new window will appear, this is where Rufus gives us extra features. You can disable, TPM check, secure boot, and the 4GB RAM requirement. You can also remove the Microsoft account requirement, and I'm keeping that option checked, because I want to create a local account during setup. Choose the options you need, click OK. A warning will appear, 
everything on the USB drive will be erased. Click OK to confirm. Rufus will now create the bootable Windows 11 installer with all the required bypasses for unsupported hardware. Once the process is complete, close Rufus. Open this PC. Open the USB drive. Here you will see all the files needed to install Windows 11. Now, restart your computer, and open the boot menu to begin the installation. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be EB, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press enter. Here we put a tick and click next. The Windows installation menu is now open. We won't change anything on this screen, just click next. Click next again. Here we put a tick and click next. Now you'll be asked to enter a product key. Since I previously had Windows 10 installed on this computer, I don't need to enter a key, Windows 11 will activate automatically. Click, I don't have a product key. If you had Windows 10 Home, select Windows 11 Home. If you had Windows 10 Pro, select Windows 11 Pro. This ensures your Microsoft license remains valid. In my case, I had Windows 10 Pro, so I'm choosing Windows 11 Pro. Click Next. Accept the license terms. Now we see all the partitions and drives connected to the system. Here, I have the old Windows partition, along with four smaller system partitions. To install Windows 11 properly, all of these partitions need to be deleted. Select each one, and click, Delete. Once all old partitions are removed, you'll be left with one unallocated partition and your USB flash drive. Select the unallocated space, and click, Next. All preliminary settings are done. Click Install and the installation of Windows 11 will begin immediately. You don't need to do anything for a while, just relax and enjoy a cup of coffee or tea. The computer will restart several times automatically, least do not turn it off manually. All Windows 11 files have been downloaded, and now it's time to go through some settings. On the first screen, select your region and click Yes. Push your keyboard layout and click Yes again. On the following screen, click Skip. Thanks to Rufus, the Windows installation is much faster, and here it is, the new Windows welcomes us. We're almost done. Yes, the installation was successful, and now I have the latest version of Windows 11 on my computer. I hope everything went smoothly for you too. Now, let's take a look at the system specifications, open settings, go to the system tab, and scroll down. Then click on system information. Here, you can see details about my processor, then though it's not officially supported by Windows 11, the installation went smoothly, and all thanks to Rufus. Now I have the new Windows 11 installed on my old computer. Let's check the activation status. Go to System, then Activation. As you can see, Windows 11 is activated with my digital license. Now let's go to the Account section. At the moment, a local account is being used, and to switch to a Microsoft account, just click here, and follow the system instructions. Let's also check if Windows 11 will receive security updates on an unsupported computer. Go to Windows Update, and click, Check for Updates.
Yes, as you can see, updates are being received without any issues. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please share it with someone who might need it. Leave a comment, I read all messages and will try to help everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck.